Welcome back, friends. Is the world of drop shipping a mystery to you? I don't know where to start. I'm here to give you some pointers. Let's see if this can work for you. Stay tuned. So I'd like to start by explaining why I don't use sites that do three quarters of the work for you. There are lots of sites out there that allow you to upload your work. They give you a storefront and you decide what products you want your artwork on. It could be canvases and uh, paper prints. It could be mugs and all kinds of things like water bottles and t-shirts even. And those sites make it super easy for you. You don't have to have your own shop. Uh, they, they do three quarters of the work. But why don't I use one of those? First of all, everybody's using those. You're going to be in a sea of artists, like millions of them. And on your page, so you might have a product page, and down at the bottom, they might say you might also like, and they're recommending another artist. So I did try that years ago, got zero orders. You still have to do all of the marketing. And let's face it, that's a whole other subject completely. So if you're gonna go through all of the hassle of doing the marketing yourself, you might as well own those customers. Now what I mean by that is, when you're working with one of those other web websites, they retain their customer. You don't, they don't share that customer's email address with you. You can't market to them individually. When you have your own website, you can market to that person who bought from you again and again. And they already like your work. They might buy something else. So having your own storefront, I think, is absolutely important. Plus, it also gives you a way to sell your original art as well. The other thing that I forgot to mention is, yeah, they do three quarters of the work, but they take most of the profit. <laughs> if you want to be able to control the amount of money you make off of each of those products, then you need to go with a service that is going to allow that. Now, some of those services do allow you to put a percentage of what you want to sell your products for, but a lot of times that ends up being too expensive. That also is the case with drop shipping sites that I'm going to recommend. A lot of the products are at a good wholesale rate so that you could still make a decent profit on top of that. So I started out selling prints that I printed myself. I had a, a Canon, I think it's called the Pixma Pro, something like that. It's a 13 by 19 printer. I'm kind of limited to a size that's going to fit within that. So I would offer prints that were 11 by 19, giving me a little white border around it. It actually fit in a 13 by 19 frame perfectly and looked like it had a mat on it. So I was, I was happy with that for a long time. And when I had my studio, I would sell those prints as people arrived you know they they had something other than the original artwork to buy so what i found was that was time consuming not only did i have to print it but then i had to have things like a clear envelope and a backer board i had to buy all of these things i had to store all of these things and then i had to actually do the printing and i had to color correct and do all of that it was it was a lot of work and the ink is not cheap it was just not working for me and plus, on top of it, on my website, now I'm responsible for the shipping. I have to leave my studio, go to the post office, and ship it. And depending on the, you know, the lines, I still have some of those prints on my website. So recently, somebody bought three of them. And here, here we are in a holiday season, and I had to go stand in that long line at the post office. But I'm happy for the sale, absolutely happy for the sale. I'm leaving those prints up until they're sold out and then I'm going to drop ship only. So when I discovered drop shipping, oh, what a game changer. So I started out with Printful and I'm still mostly selling through Printful. And then there's another company I'll tell you about a little bit later. But with Printful, I'm able to push the products that I create on the Printful website directly to my WooCommerce store. It also works with Shopify, Etsy. You could even have an Amazon shop. Okay, so here's how it works over at Printful, making your life easier. 
you place your items on your on your store you set up your merchant account something like paypal stripe you do your marketing you send people to your website to buy a person comes by and they buy a 24 by 36 canvas from you let's say for 250 dollars you set that price it could be higher it could be lower whatever you think that price should be 24 by 36 250 dollars i think is a good price so now Printful gets an automatic notification, automatic, keep that in mind. So they get this automatic notification that this order has been placed. They then fulfill that order, ship it to your customer, and you're done. You didn't have to do anything. Your merchant account collected the full amount, $250. The system over at Printful charged you the 65, 75, whatever it was, the wholesale price of the canvas you keep the difference. So that's how it works. Canvases, whether they're prints or originals, they take a lot of work to pack them up and ship them so that they don't get damaged in the process. So this makes it so much easier for you to offer prints on your website. Hey guys, before I forget, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have more and more videos on how you as an artist can sell your work online. And don't forget, like this video if this is the kind of content that you like. Some of the products that I like to sell through Printful are obviously canvas prints, um, framed paper prints, and I will suggest that you put a little white border around your artwork. It just makes it look more like a, an art print should look. When, they, when it goes right to the edge, it just doesn't look very good. Um, I also do metal prints, I do mugs, water bottles, and I cannot forget puzzles. So I did this um, flamingo as a puzzle, very challenging puzzle, but it was a lot of um, a lot of fun to do. We we my husband and I, uh, I think it took us like quite a few days to finish that puzzle because it was so hard. All that pink, all that texture. Um, it was a lot of fun though, and so that is a great product for art absolutely fantastic you should definitely check out the puzzles so I don't do the t-shirts and not and that's just because my artwork does not look good maybe because it is fabric mosaic it just doesn't look good printed on fabric I tried it uh, I tried some of my digital artwork on t-shirts and I might do more of that because that is sharp and crisp um, I do love the water bottles oh they are they come out spectacular, so you should definitely try the water bottles. Okay, so I did mention earlier that there's another company that I also use. And right now I'm doing it, I'm doing it manually. I haven't quite taken the time to figure out how to push it to my, my shop yet. Once I get that figured out, I'll create a video for you. But the name of this company is Luma Prints and they're high quality and they come in many, many different sizes. Some of my artwork is an odd size. It's like a one to two ratio. So it's like 30 inches wide by 60. I would need to make a print, let's say, as a 10 by 20, you know, not a normal size ratio, you know, or standard size, I should say. Um, it is just not a standard size. But over at Luma Prints, they have that size. They have 10 by 20, 15 by 30. I mean, they have multiple choices for me to print that particular artwork. And I have at least, I think, seven paintings that are in that proportion. I do a lot 24 by 36, which they have over at Printful. And I have uh, printed some of the canvases and I was very happy with the color quality and the print quality. I have not done that over at Luma Prints yet. One of the other reasons why I went to Luma Prints is to do limited edition metal prints. Their sizes are, again, I can do larger sizes. Oh my God, the quality is just fantastic. I love a metal print, especially when I'm printing my digital artwork. So the other thing that I noticed is that we're at Printful, they're metal prints. Now maybe it's because it's a new product, but they don't have a lot of sizes. So I showed this in another video. I printed this at Printful. I do like the way, um, and by the way, this it, Luma Prints does this as well. I do like this. I just wish it was bigger. 
Over at Luma Prints, I was able to make a decent sized print. It was a 24 by uh, 22, 24 by 20, and it was almost the same price as this. I was much happier with the prices on the metal prints over at Luma Prints. So my strategy for 2023 is to do limited edition prints through Luma Prints and open edition prints through Printful. Leave me a comment below if there's anything relating to prints that you would like me to cover in a future video. I still am learning myself, but this is how I've been doing it up till now for the last couple of years. I'm learning every day. And if you also have any suggestions for me, please also leave that in a comment. So as a little side note at the end of this video, oh my God, it's been a year, right? So I told you in a previous video about what went on with my mother and the, the caregiving and all of that. I also had to move out of my studio. So now I don't have a place to really properly shoot these videos. The lighting here, it's a great lighting for painting. Absolutely great lighting for painting but not, not necessarily so great for video. And I haven't quite figured out the whole process yet, but I'll keep you informed. If you start to see things looking better or, um, or if you have any suggestions, I'm gonna try shooting in another part of the apartment with artificial lights. I hate artificial lighting, but we're gonna see. Right now, this light at this time of day, I can only shoot in the morning, it seems. So this is a little bit later, early, early afternoon. And it's kind of harsh, I think. I do have a bounce light over here. Uh, not really a light, um, a bounce canvas, actually. <laughs> I have a, a bounce canvas over here. I have the light over here, and it's just a little too much. Over in my studio, I had this great shade that would come down, and it was like a, it diffused the light, and it made it just perfect, you know? I'm getting it together at once again. I'm, I feel like I'm starting over, but anyway. This is just my little personal thing that's going on right now. So anyway, a lot's changed and a lot will change. And I'm looking forward to 2023. Let's try to get this looking better. I'll let you know how it goes. So thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget, create, inspire, and share.